Hello, Batman. Hello. Are you going to be my oppo today, then? Very good of you, Don. Nah, it's not good of me at all. I'm glad to have him along. Computer software's not a hell of a lot of company. Why don't they send it by post? Oh, these high flyers haven't got a minute to waste. They probably take the cellular phones with them into flipping loo. I should grumble. It's a nice little owner for a poverty-struck cabbie. Where's Ivy? Yeah, she's making beds, but look, don't you two start, eh? I've just called her down. I'm not starting. Brian said she was more than miffed at not being told the truth about me, ma'am. Well, can you blame her? As she sees it, you didn't trust her. It wasn't like that at all. Look, like I said to her, it's all water under the bridge. Best thing we can do now is forget it, eh, Batman? Forget what? <laughs> Nothing, eh? Hey, I hope you're going to be a good lad in Liverpool. I don't want to hear you being a pest. Give over, there'll be no bother, will ya? Hey, don't mother his worry. Yeah. Can I ride in front? No, but I'll tell you what. We'll have hamburgers and chips as soon as we get there. How will that suit you? Okay. Morning, Ivy. Hello, Trish. How are you? Hello. Ivy, I'm uh, sorry if you're upset about uh, you know what. Well, I don't appreciate being made to look a fool and a liar. Who's been telling lies? Nobody you know. We just did what we thought was best at the time. What you thought were best. Our Brian just went along with it, didn't he? Hey, listen, enough. Finish. We've got more important things to talk about, like what we're going to do in Blackpool, eh, Nick? Blackpool? I thought we were going to Liverpool. Ah, that's today and that's work. Next Sunday, we're all going to Blackpool, and your Granny Ivy's going to tuck a frock in her knickers and paddle it sea. She's doing no such thing. Anyway, don't promise him nothing's definite yet. Yes, it is. I've confirmed it with Pete Duggan. 29-seater coach, booked. Good job and all. Billy, sir, put you through the mincer if you backed out of it now. She's counting on the ozone to do wonders for her love life. What's a love life? And don't <laughs> say nothing. Nothing! <laughs> hey, whose name do you think is right on top of that list? Mine! Yeah, that's right. You and your sisters. Does she have to come? <laughs> Does he have to come? And we're all coming. Pleasure Beach, Central Pier, Stanley Park. We're going to do the lock, kid. I tell you, this family is going to have a ball. I don't, it's not taking a liberty at all. He asked you if you wanted to go. You said no. Yes, yeah, so as soon as you'll go anyway. Why not? I'm a big girl now, you know. I do go out on my own. Well, you won't be on your own, though, will you? He'll be with you. Oh, plus heart of Rovers, clientele. Plus my own daughter. Plus my Look, he had no right to put your name down I'll without say, asking please, first. it's not worth making a song and dance about, honestly. I mean, come on, Malcolm meant you no harm. You can still change your mind and go with us. Come on, I say yes. I told you, I've got work to do. On a flipping Sunday. All right, tell me a better day to do stop taking. Does it have to be this Sunday? Yes. Even if it puts me in an impossible situation. It's not an impossible situation. Oh, come on. If I don't go, I upset Malcolm. If I do go, I upset you. Yeah. So it boils down to who you're bothered about upsetting most, doesn't it? Do you really not want me to go? Well, it's down to you, isn't it? Anyway, I've got to open the shop up. I don't suppose Sally will be for the next couple of days, either. Oh, lovely. If she's still poor, you know I couldn't give you another hand. You know that, don't you? Lovely day for some. Is you always that chirpy first thing in the morning? Oh. Oh, he's upset. You shouldn't have put my name on that list, you know, without asking us. Well, I did. I asked you both. When Al said he couldn't come, I didn't think he'd have any objection to you having the day out. Huh? Yeah, no. Well, he's not happy about it. He can be a silly old thing at times. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I'll have to say no. He doesn't deserve oh, you. Oh, Malcolm, come on. I'm no paragon. I've given him a lot of aggro in the past, believe me. Look, I'd be... I... No, it's not worth making a lot of fuss over, really. I'd be... Please, I... leave it, right? Just for me. So, what's your programme for today, then? So, I used to play tennis. I wasn't much cop. But I looked knockout in me gorgeous guts in my round. You what? Me frilly knickers. Hey, Alfie, do you remember that? The fuss she caused at Wimbledon when she first wore them. I can see you making a fuss if she had one. No? Oh, oh, in those days, lovey. That was before the permissive society took over. Yeah, we're better off in them days and all. People knew the rules and stuck to them. See ya, see ya, love. Are you looking for some metallic? Yeah. Blackcurrant preserve. Blackcurrant preserve. Oh, it's second shelf down by the cereals. Thank okay. you, Colonel. Oh, thank you, Alf. There's nothing nicer, you know, on a piece of hot buttered toast. Mm. <laughs> 
Why are you doing all your errands? I mean, what's happened to your harem? Oh, I dare say, in theory, I'm the boss. But it's funny, you know, if I want anything of a personal nature doing, they're always occupied elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's a funny little bloke, isn't it? Do you know, sometimes I feel quite sorry for him. Well, I'm glad you're concerned about somebody, even if he's not your own husband. I'll say, about Blackpool, I've been thinking... It's all right. You're not going. Is that an order? You can thank him for the offer, but tell him you're going to stop at home with your husband. We don't want the Mounties charging into the rescue, neither. Thank you very much. Now, that's my girl. I knew you'd change your mind. It's his own stupid fault. We are going to have ourselves the greatest day Behaving ever. Behaving like Mr. Barrett of Blooming Wimpole Street. But, I mean, I've got nothing against oh. the guy. But he's not for you. He's got a whole different outlook on life. Well, that's why I married him, to keep my feet on the ground. Well, that's where you're wrong. A vicious woman like you shouldn't be grounded. It's like putting an exotic bird in a cage. Oh, an exotic bird now, am I? Yeah, you remember? Remember that fun we had in Canada? The laughs? Oh, when uh -huh. Stephen were on the menu. Yes, yeah. we did, didn't not, we? Not planning anything. <laughs> doing what we wanted to do as and when. What the hell? Now, that's how life should be for you, Audrey. And that's the way it could be. <laughs> So that's it. You've made up your mind. Oh, Alfie, it's only a day trip. I mean, the kids will be there. Everybody will be there. You could be there if you weren't being so damn pig-headed. I mean, where's the harm in that? I'll tell you where the harm is. He'll be there. Oh, smarming round you, no. showing off. Do... Oh, hello. Oh. I've just been talking to Mr. Sutton about Sunday, and I'm just beginning to get quite excited about it. Of course, Blackpool does have some very special memories for me. I mean, it's funny, I suppose... Some people might find it quite vulgar on the surface, but, you know, it really can be rather romantic. I mean, you can get quite carried away. I know I did. Where's your hair lacquer? Oh, lovey, we're out of it. I'm sorry. But I'll let you have some from home if you're desperate. No, no, I'll manage. I'm not going anywhere that exciting. I'm just going into town for a couple of hours to cheer myself up, you know. Spending money I can't afford on clothes I don't need. Oh, you need <laughs> nice clothes. What for? I never go anywhere. Well, now you do surprise me. Do you know, I'd have thought you'd have had a hectic social life, a bachelor girl like you. Yeah, well, when you get to my age, all the decent blokes are spoken for. What about Mike Baldwin? I said decent blokes. <laughs> Listen, love, finding a fella is not the be-all and end-all, believe me. Oh, I never for one moment Look. thought it was. No, it's just... Sometimes, you know, I think it'd be nice to have someone to share things with. Yeah. And then there's the other stuff, you know, like, well, kids. Oh, do you want kids? I always thought I'd have a couple someday. Well, you know, like most girls do. But time's ticking by and still no sign of Mr. Wright. Oh, do you know, I thought by finding a fella it would solve all my problems. But honestly, I'm beginning to think a girl is far better off on her own. Well, you've got a good marriage. Oh! Like the curate's egg, love. Good in parts. Men! They can be like sport kids sometimes, even the best of them. Do you know I never saw Ralph that way? <sighs> You're not married to him. Is it, um, is it your visitor that's bugging him? God knows. He's got no reason to be jealous. Hasn't he? Well, come on. If uh, Malcolm does show me a bit of attention, it's only in fun. I mean, honestly, you'd think he'd be flattered that some man still fancies his wife. Oh, and does Malcolm fancy you? Yeah? <sighs> It's not. I mean, it's just a figure of speech. Well, at least he treats me like a woman, though, and not a piece of furniture. Well, I don't know. You got two fellas, I've got none, and we're both flipping grumbling. What do we want, Audrey? Oh. I don't know about you, kid, but I would love to be 20 years younger and starting all over again. And if a fairy godmother waved a wand and give it you, you know what you'd do? Go looking for a power. <laughs> OK, I'll get Gil to uh, knock some grub up for him, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, now make some scotch eggs. Yeah, what about Audrey? What about Audrey? Well, she wants to contribute if she's coming. Who oh, says we've got to have Audrey tagging along with us? Now, don't be like that. Look, I thought we agreed to smoke peace pipe. And I can't think of a better place to do it than over an ice cream cornet on Blackpool Sands. I still don't know why you wouldn't let me take your boat out for a nice meal. Well, isn't this a nice meal, you cheeky thing? Well, it's terrific. You still got to do the washing up. Well, rinsing a few pots isn't going to overtax her. Oh, come on. Now, I 
Malcolm, it's only joking, Alfie. Yeah, well, I'm just getting a bit fed up with me, hinting at my wife some sort of a household drudge. I suppose over there they've all got dishwashers. Yeah, a lot of them do. Well, a lot of them have got them over here and all, but I mean, uh, hmm. it's not worth it for the two of us. Otherwise, Alfie would buy me one, wouldn't you, look? You know what your trouble is, Alf? You take everything too seriously. Now, why don't you just lighten up a little bit? No, you mean run along Blackpool prom wearing a kiss me quick hat? Nobody's forcing you to do out. You don't want to do love. If you want to stop at home and be miserable, it's up to you. Now, off look, I'm a businessman too, right? I understand if you've got work to do, that's fair enough. But if you're worried about Audrey, forget it. I'll look after her. Won't be as, you know, the same thing as Agra Falls, but we'll give it a good try, won't we? Hey, hey, I say, have we got that Blackpool list? It's over there, and anyone else who clicks their fingers and landlords may will get it wrapped right round their ear all. Never mind all that. Just pass it over there, will you? What? What's that for? I'm putting it in now. I've decided I'm going. Oh, sorry, Shum. There's no seats. Old Umpadink there's beating you to the last one. <laughs>